Well, it's the day after Thanksgiving, and I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I know I did. I uh, got a lot to be thankful for. Ate way too much food, as always. And uh, But, hey, um, you know that going into this thing, or at least I did. <laughs> um, hopefully, you're getting an extended weekend. I know I am. And, uh, well, at least to a point. How about that? And um, everything's going good. Everything's going real good here. Hadn't been on here in a while. Just thought I'd get, kind of give you an update, maybe answer a couple of questions that I uh, continue to get asked and, um, through email or Facebook or somewhere and, uh, people want to get into the, uh, trucking world. So, um, got some personal projects going. We've been building a road out on some property, uh, that we've got out here west of town and, um, got a, got a building project started. And, uh, so, um, anyway, trying to do the majority of it myself. And uh, so that doesn't leave a lot of time for YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Um, I keep telling myself I'm gonna do better, but you know, uh, I didn't figure y'all wanted to hear what I had to say anyway. So uh, anyway, um, it's all good. Uh, where's Brian Hall? Has anybody has anybody seen Hall lately? I, I know I haven't. Um, anyway, that's a story for another day. Um, <laughs> um, so, Everything's going good. Everything's going good. Um, CDL, man, I, I, this is the this is probably the number one question I get asked, and I'm just going to tell you uh, what I think about this uh, and and what I've experienced and what I've done. So I would not. I'm going to say it again. I would not go sign up with someone to get my CDL and sign a year or two of my life away. I, I just wouldn't do it. I, I just would. I just would not do that. I would explore every avenue possible um, before even considering that, if that makes sense. And you're going you're gonna to maybe say, "Well, hang on a minute, Neil." Uh, I recall that when you went to Maverick, you didn't have a CDL. You're exactly right. I didn't. Uh, I had to sign a six month contract. Um, that was the only way at that time financially I could do that. Now, I know some of you is going to be in that same situation, but here, here's what I want to explain to you. A lot of people tell me, well, I, I've got to do it that way because I can't afford to go four weeks or five weeks without a paycheck. You're basically going to go four weeks or five weeks without a paycheck anyway, even if you go to one of these companies, because they're going to pay you pennies uh, for those four or five weeks. I think Maverick will give you five hundred dollars uh, for a uh, basically they'll they'll give you like fifty bucks when you walk in the door and um, in the first couple of days on a gift card and then on a Visa card, prepaid credit card, whatever you want to call it, and then they will give you a five hundred dollar card when you leave and go to a CDL school. Good luck. I mean, that's that's basically what they're saying. You know, the 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 thing that helped me out was I was 15 miles, 17, 18 miles uh, to the CDL school from my house. So I was able to stay at home. Uh, that's what helped me out on that end of it. So you need to keep that in mind. Now I say that to tell you this: there's two, there's a couple other options that you got that you need to look into. One would be uh, the Department of Workforce Services in your area. Um, like where I live at, it's over in Searcy, Arkansas. Uh, there's also one in Batesville, Arkansas, I believe. You can reach out to those and they will tell you if there's any money available for tuition. There was actually some people in my class at Newport uh, a couple years ago. That's the avenue that they had went. It's free money. It's money that the state will pay you or pay for you to go get your CDL. That's the way it works. Uh, that's the way it works. So you need to check into that, uh, do a little research on that. If there's not any money available right now, there might be after the first of the year. I don't know how that works, but do, do your research. The other thing that you need to check into is I've done this twice now since I've been where I'm at. And um, I've hired two guys that did not have their CDL. Uh, they had their permit. Uh, that was the agreement when they came and talked to me is if they would go and pass the written exam, I would hire them. We would train them. We would get them some windshield time. 
we would work with them on the pre-trip and the skills. And, you know, we invest a lot of time into them, but guess what? Uh, they passed, they're still with me. It's worked out great for them. It's worked out great for us. And um, so you might check around with some local companies um, and see if that's something that they would do for you. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people, a lot of local companies have a hard time finding drivers. So you might even run that by them. Um, the other question I get asked is about staying out. You know, I, I really, I mean, I'm not going to elaborate a whole lot on that. I mean, you take somebody like, you know, Hall, for example, that stays out, you know, six, seven, eight months at a time, it seems like. Um, that, that works out great for him. Um, somebody like me, I wanted to be home every weekend. That worked out great for me. Um, you're just going to have to find the company that's going to fit your criteria on home time. Uh, I mean, that, that's all I can tell you. Yeah, obviously, you're probably going to make more money if you stay out. The only kicker to that's going to be this. If you get with a company that wants you to get a reset every weekend, regardless if you're out or not, then you still may be sitting at a truck stop or a rest area somewhere for 34 hours instead of at home uh so that's that's what you need to consider there um just want to come to you give you an update what's going on uh, like i said everything's going good we're living the dream i mean that's exactly what we're doing uh we're living the dream one day at a time here in arkansas and uh just enjoying this weather and uh you know just wish everybody the best and uh y'all don't care give me a thumbs up drop me a comment and uh Hit that friend button, a.k.a. subscribe button. Keep those emails coming. I'll try to reach out to you. Uh, if you're still interested in Maverick, I, you know, I'll forward your information on over to Ryan over there. I still do that. And um, so uh, just because I'm not there don't mean I'm not going to help you out. So uh, anyway, y'all take care. Be safe. And um, have a great weekend.